here and welcome to uh, video number four on my know your android series of videos uh, in this video we're gonna take a look at five apps that I see that I think are really good and would be useful alright guys the first app on the list uh, is something that if you subscribe to me and if you've seen my uh, how to stream videos from your videos with subtitles from your Windows PC to your Android device you'd be familiar with it that is EF file explorer so guys, uh, this is one of the probably the best file explorer around. Uh, you get all your you get your normal file file explorer features. It's very easy uh, you, with your regular you know so going up, selecting stuff. So long press uh, on any icon and uh, you can you get this uh, extend, extended list of stuff to do like copy paste and so on. Uh, and apart from using this app as just a file explorer, you can also, uh, you know, check your root stuff, your root, your root folders and so on. All you need to do for that is just go ahead and hit the menu button. And then hit settings. And there you just need to select up to root. Scroll down, select root explorer, mount file system. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Go back. And now you will be able to... Uh, check your root folder and so on so guys if you've seen my video on uh, you know how to swap the internal and external memories for uh, for the galaxy s3 uh, you'll know that in order to go ahead and remove the the mod that is replay i mean uh, get things back to stock you need to go into root uh, the root explorer and go ahead and make some modifications so uh, for modifications like these for various mods and so on you will need to uh, access your root folder and uh, ES File Explorer definitely comes in handy at those times. And again guys, so you can also browse all the files uh, from your shack folder on your PC on the same network, PC or laptop on the same network. So I've shared a, a few drives over here and you can get it from the LAN, you just need to tap on, tap on LAN over there and it also lets you access files stored in your uh, cloud storage like Dropbox, SkyDrive uh, it's accessible from here so that's another advantage so that's pretty much it guys uh, for ES uh, File Explorer so I'm just gonna get out of it the second app on today's list is N7 Player so guys uh, this is a music player it is not a free player uh, but it is pretty different from uh, you know what the uh, other offerings it's unique uh, you get these styles over here I don't have a lot of uh, music on the phone right now but as you can see you get uh, it downloads all cover art for you you get a free trial version so that you guys can check it out and again for every app on the list today I have I have links to the links to the Play Store in the description of the video so uh, it, as you can see it is a trial version that I and you just tap on the cover art and it just plays the song and uh, apart from that you also get your normal uh, user interface scroll down and uh, go to music you get your normal uh, interface going into playlists or sorting by artists and so on it also has a pretty powerful uh, cover art downloader so uh, again it, it is also totally compatible with uh, Bluetooth headsets for AVRCP to uh, uh, what do you say uh, to use your Bluetooth headsets uh, re I mean skip track function uh, play and pause function it can also make sure that it is prioritized over over the stock music player so under you can find that under headset settings you also have some uh, custom media button function uh, so it's a pretty pretty decent player guys I would I mean if you're not gonna buy it I'd at least I recommend you guys to definitely go ahead download it from the market the trial version is free and check it out so moving on to the third app on the list for the day guys uh, it's auto call recorder so uh, this app is exactly what the name states it records every call that comes into your phone or every call that you dial out by default it's got a say it saves about uh, in the inbox size is defined to 10 so uh, uh, say you get you are speaking to somebody and after the call is done you think you need you should have recorded the call the call is anyway gonna be recorded so you're gonna see the last 10 calls uh, the log over here every call is gonna be recorded 
all you need to do is just tap and hold the certain log and you can save it and that will move to the saved uh, part, of, part of this save tab so uh, it's a pretty decent feature uh, it's a pretty decent app actually uh, and I, I see I do, I do not have my sim card on this phone so I can't really show you that but just check it out it's called auto call recorder it's free and it's amazing all right guys and uh, this app the fourth one on the list there are actually two apps and I'm, I'm not gonna take it as individual ones they're from the same uh, uh, app developer it's got their SMS backup and resto and uh, call log back call logs backup and resto obviously uh, and this is m meant for more people who are who do not have uh, root on their on their devices if you've not this is meant towards you know people who have not rooted their devices yet uh, so if you want to go ahead and back up your call logs you can do it from here you need to enter of enter the name for the backup file and just hit hit OK uh, and you can also delete whatever backups you can just select it and delete it and you can also clear your call logs from here and uh, you can restore it from any of the backups you can actually take multiple backups and uh, select the restore function uh, between uh, either ones and you can also view what you have and opening it will actually show you what you have over there and uh, the same thing is the same way that the SMS backup app works as well so backing up you get multiple backups and you can view that okay and you can just search for a certain SMS uh, we just saw view delete the backups and delete messages as well so that's pretty much it for the backup and restore apps and uh, guys the last app on I mean for today that is the uh, Google gesture so uh, how this app works is uh, I've set it to be toggled by motion so that means the way I've set it right now is you know you just need to quickly uh, flip your phone and the app loads up and this is a shortcut app you just need to use shortcuts uh, say for example I need to load up call logs backup and restore I just you say call logs backup and restore so that's pretty much it guys for know your android uh, video number four if you guys uh, have anything to say leave it in the comment section or I guess and hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or email me directly all my contact details are in the description and if you guys do want to do me a favor hit my links up to Amazon in the description uh, if there's anything that you want to purchase online uh, use my links go through to Amazon and purchase it from the links there uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff just go to Amazon through the links use the search bar there search for what you want and purchase it and if you place an order I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks so that is if you guys do want to help me out so guys um, uh, if you uh, if you have a Galaxy Note, you probably know my friend Dagogo, better known to you guys as Cold Fusion, makes some great videos. One of a, this is one of his videos. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. A lot of uh, modifications and innovative kind of videos. Great music as well. So uh, he's I'd say he's kind of an inspiration to me, and I definitely suggest you guys to check out his videos. Uh, a link to this video this particular video is in the description so check it out uh, and uh, watch it and I'm sure you guys will like it hit, hit the like and subscribe button for his videos as well and before you do that hit the like and subscribe buttons for this particular video that you're watching right now so that's pretty much it guys um, once again thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon you guys have a great day bye bye